Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm back again with the next best of three series in my round robin tournament. And today we're going to have the 1986 New York Mets, who uh, probably bring back some bad memories for Boston Red Sox fans, going up against the 1920 St. Louis Cardinals. Now, what makes this a little different than most of the other matchups is the 1920 Cardinals were actually 75 and 79. They were under 500, but they certainly were not horrible. Most of the other teams that I've had in the tournament have been horrible. But I found out that it's quite difficult to find a horrible St. Louis Cardinal team. So um, I found one that was under 500. And actually, they're 75 and they were 75 and 79, but in comparison to the Mets, who won 108 games. They are vastly worse, at least in the record. Another notable thing, though, about St. Louis, which is really weird, is they actually have a good lineup. They have a very good hitting lineup, and they their top two or three pitchers who will be appearing in this tournament were actually very good. For instance, the Game 1 matchup is going to be Jesse Haynes, who was 13-20. and 20. He had a record of 13-20. and 20. But he had a 298 earned run average, and he uh, allowed only 303 hits in 302 innings, which is certainly not terrible. But he will be going up against Dwight Gooden in Game One, and Dwight Gooden was 17 and six with a 284 earned run average, and allowed 197 hits in 250 innings. So we, uh, <coughs> and like I said. <coughs> Ground rules, like before, it um, is the best of three series in the first round, and we're still in the first round. So, if uh, you know one of these teams can win the first two games, they're done. But we will see if that can happen, because like I said, this St. Louis team is a lot better than an underdog team generally has been in this tournament. So, uh, to lead it off for St. Louis, let's get right into the game. Um, to lead it off for St. Louis against Dwight Gooden will be Jack Smith, the center fielder. And he gets a 1-7, which is a walk. So, Gooden starts off by walking the first man he faces. Not a good omen. Jack Fournier is up the first baseman. He gets a 4-7, which is a single 1-4. to four. And it is an out, actually. It's a line out to first base. So Fournier lines out. One down. That brings up Rogers Hornsby, the second baseman. Oh, and let's have the, uh, let's have the, okay, yeah, the first baseman, or the guy on first will get a little bit of a lead there, so you can see him a little better. 6-6 uh, six, six is a fly ball to left field for Hornsby. So that's two down. And Austin McHenry is up, and he gets a 2-7, which is a single with one asterisk. So, runners only advance one base. And that's the first hit of the game. The first hit for St. Louis. The first hit allowed by Gooden. Two runners on, two out. Cliff Heathcote is up, and he gets a 5-9. And that is a strikeout. Gooden is going to be tough to beat, I think. Definitely. And the uh, Cardinals come away with no runs there. And leading off for the Mets today will be Mookie Wilson against the aforementioned Jesse Haynes. And he gets a 4-6, which is a pop-out to short, one away. Next batter is Lenny Dykstra. 6-6 six, six is a double, 1-3, to three, or a single. And the helmet has to go back here. And that is going to be a single for Lenny Dykstra. Hit allowed for Haynes. Q 
Keith Hernandez up. He gets a 5-3, and that is a ground ball to the first baseman. The first baseman is Jack Fournier, and he is a 4. And that's a 3. That's going to be something huge. Maybe it was their fielding that un undid them. Anyway, that was a single 2. So runners are now at the corners with only one out, and... St. Louis is going to keep, stay back. They're going to play for the double play. It's early in the game. 3-6 on Daryl Strawberry is a strikeout. So Haynes strikes out Straw, the straw man. And that leaves it up to Gary Carter, who gets a 6-7, which is a single one to 15. Pretty good chance there. And it is. And he knocks in a run. And the Mets take a 1-0 lead. Haynes giving up his third hit, first earned run, and that brings up Wybackman, and he gets a 6-6, which is a double one to three. That's going to be another Mets run, and that's going to be a single double asterisk, but that brings in another Mets run. Fourth hit allowed, second run allowed for Jesse Haynes, and Kevin Mitchell is up. He gets a 2-6, and that's a strikeout. Now, if you've been following these series, you might remember, the, and the Mets get two in the first, you might remember that Kevin Mitchell actually appeared for the 87 uh, Giants in the last series that I did, and the Giants did advance to the next round. So there would be a dilemma if... Um, the 86 Mets make it over, uh, they beat St. Louis and make it to the next round. And if that happens, uh, Mitchell will only play for one of the two teams in the turn in the entire, um, as long as both teams are still in the tournament. I will determine which team that will be based on something I'm going to do. I haven't decided how I will do that. Um, probably roll a six sided die and like, one through three would be the Giants, and four through six would be the Mets. But anyway, he will only play for one team or the other as long as uh, he'll... I'm going to determine which team, and then he will stay with that team and only play for that team as long as both teams are still in the tournament. So we go to the top of the second, now that we got that all cleared up. Milt Stock is up. He gets a 110, and that's a pop-out to short. Doc Levon is up the shortstop. He gets a 4-4, and that is a walk. So Gooden walks his second man of the uh, game. Levon taking the walk. That brings up Joe Schultz, and he gets a 1-9, which is a fly ball to center. That's two away. And up steps Vern Clemens, and he gets a 210, which is a double one to 11 or a single. And that is going to be a double. So there are runners, St. Louis runners, at second and third. He got a double, second and third with two down. And Gooden giving up his second hit, and let's see if St. Louis can capitalize on this. With Jack Smith up again, and he gets a 3-5, which is a ground ball to second, and he's out. So St. Louis comes away with nothing, despite having threatened slightly there. Um, and so, coming up for the Mets is Ray Knight to lead off. He gets a 5-8, which is a fly ball to center. Rafael Santana, the shortstop, gets a 1-4, and that's a line out to third. Two away. And Mookie Wilson's up, and he gets a 3-11, which is a walk. So, Mookie's aboard. And up steps Len Dykstra, and he gets a 4-3, which is a fly ball to right field. The right fielder is a 4. This could be interesting. That's an 18, though. 18 and 4 is a roll again. 
That's a five. That might be an out, and it is. So, Len Dykstra flies out to right field. I think that might have been the downfall of this uh, St. Louis team was that their fielding, the fielding is terrible just about everywhere. So that brings up Jack Fournier, the first baseman. He gets a 2-8, which is a single. And, but like I say, the St. Louis hitters, as far as their hitting went, they were very good. Gooden giving up his third hit. Rogers Hornsby gets a 4-11. That's a strikeout. One away. Striking out Hornsby. You got to really wonder if that would actually have happened in real life. Gooden striking Hornsby out. Austin McHenry's up. 3-6 is a strikeout. That's two away. The other way around, I could see it. Um, with, you know, um, some of these Mets batters getting struck out by Jesse Haynes. Um, but Cliff Heathcote is up, and he gets a 2-7, and it's ground ball third base. So Heathcote is out. And St. Louis goes down in the third. And after two and a half, we have a 2-0 two -nothing, two -nothing Mets lead. And they are batting now in the bottom of the third. With Keith Hernandez, the first baseman up, and he gets a walk. Hernandez drawing the free pass from Haynes. Daryl Strawberry gets a 4-5. That's a strikeout. Oh, wait a minute. No, it's a fly ball to left field, but it's still an out. Gary Carter up, one out, one on, three nine. Is a triple one or a single double asterisk? And that is incredibly, that's a triple. So Carter, Gary Carter of all people, hits a triple. And drives in his second run of the game. And he's two for two. Haynes gives up the third run. And Carter is only 90 feet away with one out. They're going to bring the infield in now. Wally Backman gets a 111, which is a pop out to third. And now the infield returns to normal depth with two outs. Kevin Mitchell up. But he hits a triple one to three or a double. And he gets a double and knocks in another run. Haynes giving up his sixth hit, fourth run, and uh, Ray Knight up. And he gets a 5-3, which is a ground ball to first. That's four near. He's a four. That's a three. That's going to be something, folks. That is going to be something. Single two, and another run comes in. And Haynes is getting his butt handed to him right now. And up steps Rafael Santana with a 3-11. It's a ground ball, second base A. And mercifully, that onslaught on Haynes ends with the Mets scoring three more runs in the third and taking a 5 to nothing lead. But again, the St. Louis team is full of good hitters. Milt Stock is up, and he gets a 1-5, and he's out. Up steps Doc Levon. He gets a 3-6, which is a single 1-3 to three or a line out. And it is a line out to the shortstop. He walked last time up. And Joe Schultz is up. He gets a 6-7. And that is a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman is Wally Backman, and he's a 3. That's an 11 and a 3, and that's an out. Joe Schultz out. No runs for St. Louis. <clears throat> for now, they are going to keep Jesse Haynes out there. Um, and Mookie Wilson's up at the plate, and he gets a 1-4, which is a strikeout. Their leadoff batter, striking out. Len Dykstra's up. He gets a 2-3, which is a ground ball second base. And he's out. And that brings up 
Keith Hernandez, and he gets a 2-9, which is a double. He just rips a double down the left field line. Hernandez, 2 for 2 today with a double. And that brings up Daryl Strawberry, who gets a 3-7, which is a strikeout. And the straw man goes down. Strikeout for Haynes. No runs come across despite a double by Keith Hernandez the opposite way down the left field line. And uh, that brings us to the top of the fifth. Top of the fifth, St. Louis down by five. They got to start to claw some runs together soon. Vern uh, Clemens gets a 2 3, and that's a ground ball to short. He's out. Up steps Jack Smith. Jack Smith gets a 1 8. That's a single. So Jack Smith works his way aboard with a hit. Only the fourth hit given up by Gooden, and Jack Fournier is up. He gets a 6 8. That's a fly ball to center field. He's out. They keep rolling on Gooden's card, though. These great hitters are not going to be helped any. 6'10", that's a center field X. The center fielder is Dykstra. He's a 2. That's a 7. He's out. So Hornsby goes down. St. Louis also goes down, and we go to the, t the bottom of the 5th. They're going to keep Haynes out there. I mean, he pitched 302 innings. And you've got to imagine that there's probably not too many pitchers on St. Louis, even in the bullpen, that are better than Jesse Haynes. Gary Carter gets a 1-5, which is a fly ball to center. So Carter's domination has come to a, at least a pause, as he is 2-for-3 on the day. Wally Backman comes up, gets a 5-5, five, five and strikes out. Fifth strikeout for... Haynes, and that brings up Kevin Mitchell, who gets a 5-4. That's a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop is a 3. That's Doc Levon. 16-3 and three at short is an out. So, Kevin Mitchell's out. We go to the top of the 6th. St. Louis drags that lineup back out there to face Gooden. They haven't been able to really work any runs off of him yet. Austin McHenry gets 310, which is a fly ball. That brings up Cliff Heathcote, who gets a 4-6, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. He is a... that's Rafael Santana. He's a 2, but that's a 2. That might be a hit. And it is. So Cliff Heathcote, working a hit... Got to start somewhere, right? The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Milt Stock is up. He gets a 211, which is a line out to second, two away. And that brings up Doc Levon. And Doc Levon hit right between two uh, on base chances, but he gets a ground ball to third base. We go to the bottom of the sixth. It really is getting late for St. Louis. They got to get five runs, and they've already gone six innings of their at bats, getting none. So Ray Knight steps in. He gets a 210 ground ball to short, one away. And Haynes seems to have settled down a little. Rafael Santana, 5 6, is a strikeout. Got his sixth strikeout right there. And Mookie Wilson's up, and he gets a 4-10, which is a ground ball to the third baseman. The third baseman is a 3. That's Milt Stock. 4-3 and three is going to be something. Yeah, that's a single. So, Mookie Wilson getting a hit. His first hit of the day. Eighth hit allowed by Haynes. And Len Dykstra's up, and he gets a 2-8, uh, which is a ground ball to the third baseman, and he's out. We go to the top of the seventh. You would think really right now would be the time for St. Louis at least to get a run or two. Joe Schultz gets a 2-7, which is a single, so they do lead off. 
looking like maybe they want to rally and get something going against Gooden. That's a sixth hitter allowed by Gooden. Vern Clemens is up. He gets a 3-5, which is a ground ball double play. So Vern Clemens wipes out probably any chance at St. Louis getting a run. Another thing about this St. Louis team is they didn't hit a lot of home runs. So you're not going to see, you know, really you're not going to see home runs. They have to string hits together. Jack Smith is up, and he gets a 6-9, which is a fly ball to center field. That also could have been a contributing factor in why St. Louis was under 500. Lots of good hitters, but nobody that could go deep. So Keith Hernandez up at the plate, 6-8 is a walk. Hernandez taking a walk. Daryl Strawberry's up. He gets a 6-7. That's a single one to 15. But it's an 18, so it's actually a line out to second base. Strawberry with a real good opportunity there, but doesn't get it, and he's 0 for 4 on the day. Gary Carter up. He gets a 3-6, which is a pop out to second. That's two away. And also, you'll notice the 86, um, the 86 set. This was the last set of the die, car, the die cut cards before they went to the 87, like perforated with the background that was ugly. And then from then on did the perforated cards. Wally Backman up, 2-6, that's a walk. So the Mets have two aboard now. Backman walking. Again, Haynes not really pitching that well, but there isn't really anybody better probably on the team. 6-5 is a home run, 1-5 for Mitchell. <clears throat> and Mitchell hits a three-run homer. That probably, I mean, if it wasn't, if that wasn't it before this, it is now. Mitchell two for four with a double and a homer, and now four RBIs. And now the Mets have really what's got to be an insurmountable. Uh, eight to nothing lead, and uh, that brings up Knight. He gets a five nine ground ball to the shortstop. He's a three. That's a one. That's going to be a single. So Ray Knight gets a hit. Eleven hits given up by Haynes. Really bad. Four eight is a fly ball to the right fielder for Santana. He gets out again. Santana mercifully ends the onslaught, but not before three more runs come across, making it an eight nothing advantage for the uh, for the uh, New York Mets. And Jack Fournier's up. Two nine is a strikeout. I mean, at this point, you're looking at the Cardinals would have to roll exclusively on their own cards. 6-9 is a fly ball for Rogers Hornsby. Two down. And McHenry steps up, and he gets a 6-8, and that is a fly ball to center field. McHenry is out. No runs come across, and we are going to, we have seen the last of Jesse Haynes. Haynes pitches seven innings. The final book on him is seven innings, 11 hits, six strikeouts, four walks, one homer, and eight earned runs. And they will bring in Lou North to pitch. Of course, Lou North knows he's just out there to be a warm body on the mound to get through the rest of the game. Um, and the Mets will send up Mookie Wilson, their leadoff batter. 6-7 is a fly ball to right. That's one away. Wilson one for four on the day. Len Dykstra's up. He gets a 6-7, which is a fly ball to right field. Dykstra is one for five on the day, and that brings up Keith Hernandez. And Keith Hernandez gets a 6-5, which is a ground ball. And he's two for three. So 
Now it comes down to St. Louis in the ninth. They got to get eight runs right here. I don't think that's even remotely likely, but uh, Cliff Heathcote is going to send him out, try him, uh, you know, lead him out and see if he can do it. 6 9 is a fly ball. So Heathcote is out. No clothes are needed here. Uh, Milt Stock, 3 7 is a single. So Milt Stock gets a hit. I mean, that's the eighth hit off Gooden. That's a pretty healthy hit number for Doc Gooden to allow. 5-4 is a ground ball to the third baseman for Levon. The third baseman is Knight. He is a three. I don't know what that, that's undeterminable. And that's a seven. Seven and three is an out double play. Levon hits into the double play that ends the game mercifully for the St. Louis Cardinals who lose game one to the New York Mets of 1986 by the score of eight nothing. So that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke signing off. Be sure to join us for game two when that goes up on the site.